The famous German poet Goethe once said that traveling is the best way of education. He might be right. I came to Plymouth four months ago. I knew that I would like the sea. A rough place, but a place meaning freedom and infinity as well. I love to go there, even though the best seats to view are already taken. The access to the sea has always been an important location factor. Plymouth is a harbour city and actually has the largest naval base in Western Europe. Due to many German bombings in World War II, the city doesn't have many historical buildings or pretty neighbourhoods. The Barbican might actually be the only place where you can still feel the atmosphere of an old fishing port. Plymouth is located in the southwest of England, in the county of Devon. The city borders Cornwall, another county with beautiful coast landscapes and small fishing villages. It's said that the regions hide very lovely spots. I wanted to explore them. Fowey is situated on the south coast of Cornwall. The area is also called the Cornish Riviera. That might be more appropriate in the summer. The cliff coast was very impressive and the wind almost blew us away. We enjoyed one of the last late summer days in October and took a deep breath at the sea. The interior of this area was beautiful as well. Gorgeous ferns and small streams. When we went there it was Remembrance Day. Everyone wore poppies, the flower of commemorance of fallen soldiers. It seemed like almost everyone went to church. The streets were quite empty and so we could experience the whole area all alone. We took the boat to the neighboring village Paul Run. A beautiful trip. Dartmoor, the place where the Hound of the Baskervilles made trouble and Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson investigated. That's what Sir Arthur Conan Doyle thought might take place in this region. I think there actually are some places in Dartmoor where you don't want to go alone in a dark night. The moorland is incredibly empty and has an odd mixture of vegetation. Sometimes it looks like a step, and then you also have beautiful forest with picturesque rivers. You also have many sheep and ponies. It's a contradictory place. Creepy but beautiful, empty but full of wonders. Princetown is one of these small English villages where almost nothing seems to happen. The Dartmoor prison radiates an uneasy feeling. At least something that's making you emotional in this drowsy village. And the sheeps, of course. Even they look at you. Evil stranger. The people we met in the local pub were nice, the beer tasty. The provincial mood is really cozy and unconcerned in a good way. Princetown is a place you cannot leave when you miss the last bus. Maybe never again. But fortunately we made it on time.
Wistman's Wood is in the heart of the Dartmoor, a small woodland that is very close to Princetown and to Bridges, where the main streets through Dartmoor cross each other. It is not a very big area, and yet you are feeling like you are in a fairy tale, just as if one of the hobbits might step forth behind a tree and invite you over to drink a tea. was very quiet. Only a distant stream and the rustling of leaves that one could hear. It was true. There are a lot of lovely spots around Plymouth. I have seen very unique places. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye sea. Goodbye beautiful landscapes. Goodbye Sir Francis Drake. That you might save this place for a long time. The Wild West I learned to love.